folks, welcome back to my channel. I am going to do a flip through video today of a deck that I've had this deck a couple of years now. I did buy it locally from a seller in my area who would post a number of decks for sale and this one really caught my eye. Um, I did have it on my wish list from many moons ago and it's kind of one of those ones where you don't necessarily think you'll ever get your hands on it. Um, it is out of print and not terribly hard to find. You could still pick it up on eBay, um, although it does get a little bit pricey. It is a bit bigger of a deck and I can show you here how it looks. This is, I would, I would almost consider this one, I would say an art deck. Um, it is in some fashion Tarot de Marseille, but it's also a little more, I would say it's a pip deck <laughs> will be the best way to describe it. But I really wanted to show this one here because I don't see it floating around very often. Um, I don't know, I don't know if many people know about this one. So it is quite big. Um, what do I have here? Okay, so this is the uh, Smithwaite Centennial Borderless. Sorry. So you can see it's quite a bit longer and pretty much the same width. Uh, what else do I have? available here. Okay, so we've got the Noble, which are, you know, the smaller cards, just to give you guys an idea of just how big these cards are. And the maybe Lenormand, which, you know, nice, nice and little cards. So it is, it is definitely a bigger deck. It's absolutely beautiful. I think it's so special and it's very different from any of the other decks that I have in my collection. So it holds a very special place in my heart. It's got these two spread cards that came with it as well as little book. My kitty. <laughs> um, this little book here and uh, yeah this deck was printed in I do believe it was 1974. That's right. Okay so as I typically do my videos I'm going to go ahead and do the flip through if you just want to see the cards and then I will talk about it a little bit at the end with some of my thoughts and anything else I want to say. So let's dive in to these beautiful cards.
So that is this beautiful, stunning deck. Um, you will have noticed as we flipped through that they are numbered 1 through 78, so even all of the miners have the corresponding number on them, as well as they have the playing card suit associations. So we've got the spades and the clubs, hearts, diamonds, etc. Um, isn't it just beautiful? <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen this one before or if this is your first time seeing this video. Um, I'd love to know everybody's thoughts. Go ahead and pop them in the comments below. But I've had some incredible experiences with this deck and particularly these majors. They're very, I mean, you can see in a sense they're very non-traditional, but they still do stick to our theme um, of, of each of the, the cards traditionally but they are just so beautiful. The oversaturation of colors, they are so well illustrated. Um, I can't even tell you, <laughs> I can't even tell you the, the different experiences that I've had with readings with these cards, even when I just do majors only. And I mean, check out this death card, incredible. And we do have, you know, the planetary associations um, as well as the, the zodiac symbols. But I really like, you know, look at this force you have, and traditionally, right, even in the the Rider Waite Smith deck, um, the the struggle between the the sorry, I guess it's not technically a struggle, more so a struggle if we're talking about the Marseille deck. But I like that it also has this other aspect of strength as well to it. Um, and it's just it's very, very different, as you guys saw in the flip through there, with the the two different, you know, having the light shining behind her there and the arrow pointing forward. We also see the arrow in the chariot card there. <laughs> It's just such a special deck. I absolutely love it. It's very colorful, very, very animated. Um, and I will say it's really quite unexpected. Also, this High Priestess card. Where is she at? This is just super profound. And it has been a couple of times in the past for readings where we have this person kind of reaching through her with the two keys, which we traditionally see the keys on the card of the Pope, which he actually, in fact, is holding a key there as well. Um, and it even says, you know, Jupiter <laughs> there under him, which is a nod to, of course, um, Juno and Jupiter, the cards that were replaced in the uh, Basil Ensemble style decks. But anyways, um, I don't know that I have too much more to say about this deck. Like, I mean, the cardstock is excellent. It's very, very thick. Um, you can see it's almost kind of a really thin cardboard, you might say. But I did want to go ahead and show this deck, especially um, for other collectors who are out there. When you're looking at buying some of these decks that are hard to find and or out of print, um, sometimes it's nice to know what you're getting into before before you actually make that purchase. Even like the extra detailing, so you have the swirl there, it's present in um, the four, and then I think it comes back not till the ten. Oh no, sorry, it's there in the eight. Uh, but here, it's more rounded. Like the different aspects of the uh, symbolism, and not that I know what these symbols mean or I draw on, things like that. So it is in that sense really quite different from the Marseille style where you've got, you know, your traditional, <laughs> your traditional orientation of pip cards. Um, so some folks might find this a bit limiting or hard to read at first, but for, for fellow folks who really enjoy the pip style um, and can work with fun lines and squiggles on their cards. And I also really like, of course, it's got the, the different, um, border colors for the different suits. So putting this one in order to film this video was incredibly fast and easy, <laughs> which I really appreciated. And I think these court cards are done so well. I mean, they're just absolutely beautiful. I could gush over this little deck all day. There we have our spiral in the 10 again. Um, this queen of wands, her in particular, I mean, she's just amazing. I really like her. This deck, yeah, it's, it's really quite different from, like I said, anything else I have. Uh, I find it does read very well. Again, they are much bigger cards, but I don't find that I have a hard time shuffling it. You could just, you know, instead of shuffling like these, which can be a bit tricky, you can always just turn and shuffle that way when you get your hands on these bigger type decks. But like I said, this will probably just be, you know, a quick short little video here. I did just want to go ahead and show these cards because I haven't seen it around and it's, it's one that I really love. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if there's anything else you want to see or what your thoughts are on this particular deck. Um, if this is something that you like, do you not like it? Would love to hear everybody's thoughts. And until the next video, I hope everybody has a great rest of their day.